Hey fellow enthusiasts, JC49 Car Cleaning here. Today's video we're going to be doing a one manufacturer cleaning video reviewing Bonnet and Fid's full range of products. Bonnet and Fid's are a Cornish based husband and wife supplier of car detailing products. The company was set up as they felt whilst many of the products they used was good, they did not tick all the boxes or requirements, so they launched their own brand and range of products. The products we are reviewing today from Bonnet and Fizz is a pH neutral snow foam scented vanilla, rim cleaner scented coca cola, shampoo scented coconut, glass cleaner scented bubble gum, camel wax scented butterscotch, air freshener scented chocolate, tyre dressing scented strawberry and finally quick detailer or QD scented gingerbread. The car we are testing these products on is a 2007 Ford Focus, it's been beaten up by other road users and neglected for a long time period, as it's a workhorse and a company car. Last time I cleaned the car was two and a half weeks ago, so this will be a true test to see how good the products are from Bonnet and Fids. We started off with Bonnet and Fids Coca-Cola Scented Rim Cleaner. The branding is very catchy and the gloss black bottle is very catchy with the orange labelling. Gives a very professional scent before even using the product. The rim cleaner is already pre-diluted to the correct strength for safe wheel cleaning. Spray onto the wheel until you have fully coated the wheel in the cleaner. Wait 1-2 to two minutes until the cleaner turns a lovely purple colour. The wheel cleaner is very simple to apply to the car, the bottle is simple to use and the trigger head sprays a good amount of products, so it's super easy and super quick to coat an entire wheel. If the wheel is heavily contaminated you can agitate the cleaner with a brush. My review of the wheel cleaner is that it's super easy and takes minimal effort to apply to the wheels, as some wheel cleaners are very difficult to apply. This one is not, it is super easy. The wheel cleaner removed all the grime and brake dust from the past two and a half weeks with ease. I will be reviewing the wheel cleaner itself in a video soon, so stay active to see it on the channel. Also, the cola scent is amazing and you don't get that horrid smell of gone off normally which you will find with fallout removal wheel cleaners. Time for the pre-wash stage, using their pH neutral vanilla scented snow foam. The snow foam itself is a thick golden colour, the thickness of the product gives a scent is very highly dilutable. The branding is simple and very catchy and definitely appealing to the eye. On the bottle it has no dilution ratios or recommended strengths and it says it's entirely up to your choice, which in some ways I find awesome as you get to test and explore the product in much more depth, but in another way I would like some recommendations to dilute the product so you're getting the full power you need from it and working to get the maximum you can manage to accomplish from the product and so you're not wasting valuable product which you could be using the next time you detail your vehicle of choice. In the end I chose to use 200ml of the product because I wanted a strong snow foam to break through the baked on grime from the two and a half weeks of the car not being cleaned. So let's begin to apply the snow foam to the dirty Ford's paintwork. When applying the snow foam, it was very thick foam, which covered the car in thick, sudsy foam in no time. The foam seemed to hang on to the car for a few minutes before dragging down the grime and dirt from the paintwork. When you have fully covered the car in thick vanilla scented heaven, let the snow foam dwell on the car for 10 minutes. Then fully press wash off the snow foam and see the difference it makes to the paint. Ready for the contact two bucket method wash. My review of the snow foam is that I would like to see some dilution ratios or recommended strengths on the bottle. Apart from that, the snow foam applied to the car with ease. The vanilla scent was not overpowering and made the fun part of snow foaming the car even better with the scent to the foam. The snow foam removed all the grime and baked on road grime and mud with ease, ready for the contact wash. Time for the two bucket contact wash with their coconut shampoo. The shampoo is high concentrate formula designed to be gentle enough not to strip wax. The directions for use says add a generous splash of shampoo to your bucket of warm water. I went with 25ml of the shampoo to my bucket of warm water. Then use press washer to create suds. The shampoo was incredibly sudsy, the shampoo glides across the paintwork with minimal effort applied. My review of the shampoo is that it's super concentrated so you don't need to add loads like you normally will find with other brands and that the shampoo will last longer meaning you can do more 
washes with the product. Only bug is that the directions again could be improved by suggesting like 25ml of shampoo instead of a splash. That's my only bug. The shampoo did remove the remaining dirt and grime and left the paint clean and ready for the next step. Next we use their gingerbread scented quick detailer. I use the QD as a drying aid with my drying towels. The QD is a lovely white colour and the scent is sensational. When using the product the scent makes it even better. It's not overpowering, just perfect. The QD works a treat as a drying aid, also adding some awesome gloss. The thing I love the most about it is the bottle. The bottle seems to look like it sprays a lot out, but it really does not. Sprays a good mist of product and that's all you need. I dried the whole car with a product and only gone down an inch in the bottle, which is phenomenal. I have no bugs on this product and my review is that it's an outstanding product and can be used in many ways, example as a clay lube. The next product is their Camel Wax Scented Butterscotch. Waxing a car is one of my favourite parts of valeting and detailing a car. The wax is in a luxury metal tin with a glossy green branding, which really does stand out. The minute you open the lid to the wax, the scent hits you and it's a good one, like the QD. The wax is a lovely dark purple, which is handy to see on light coloured cars. I use the applicator pad to apply the wax to the car. The wax is incredibly soft and easy to get the product onto the pad to apply the wax to the car. When applying the wax, go to side to side motions or up and down, allow the wax to haze for around 5 to 10 minutes then buff off with two soft microfiber towels. My review of the wax is that it's incredibly easy to apply to the applicator and to apply to the car. The wax spreads incredibly far, meaning you don't have to keep going back for more product. The wax takes about 5-10 to 10 minutes to haze, and once left to haze, the wax takes no effort to remove from the car, and leaves one incredibly glossy car. I did not te test the beading, but we'll be reviewing the wax in a separate video, so we'll be going into much more depth. I really enjoyed using the wax and will be using it definitely more and buying another pot. Next product was their bubblegum scented glass cleaner. Their glass cleaner is in a clear bottle so you can see the purple product in its full glory. The spray attachment on the bottle sprays a light mist of glass cleaner onto the glass making it easy to clean the windows. I use the glass cleaner with my cleaning cloth of choice. For more restricted areas, spray the product onto the cloth. As well as cleaning windows and mirrors, the glass cleaner can be used on hard plastics and vinyl. My review of the glass cleaner is the scent is amazing and makes makes the boring and sometimes frustrating job of cleaning windows more enjoyable. The glass cleaner cleans up the muck and grime on windows, leaving a streak-free, shiny clean window. The next product is their strawberry scented tyre dressing. The product is in a clear bottle so you can see the gorgeous pink product. The tyre dressing is a runny consistency so it makes applying to the tyres with the detailing brush of your choice super easy. The tyre dressing leaves a factory matte black finish to the tyre which I love. I'm not too keen on glossy tyres, I think gloss belongs to paint not to tyres, but that's my opinion. My review of the product is that the product is fantastic, easy to apply and leaves a phenomenal matte black finish. The only bug is that the scent of strawberry I cannot smell would maybe need enhancing so you cannot smell the chemicals made to produce the dressing. That's my only bug of the product. One fantastic product and I really enjoyed using the tyre dressing, super easy. Will be interesting how long the durability of the tire dressing. Keep an eye on my Instagram, will keep you all updated. Link is in the description. Last but least is their chocolate air freshener. I sprayed a few squirts around each section of the car to remove the smell of wet dog, as the car stinks of wet dog as the dog goes to the beach three times a day. So it'll be interesting how it handles the odour of wet dog. My review of the product is that the scent is outstanding and that it's so easy to use. So I hope you enjoyed my review of Bonnet and Fid's full range of products. If you liked the video, please leave a like and leave your thoughts down in the comments. Hope everyone is okay and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy the clean focus b-roll.